Hola. So here we are in Spain. I'm at my uh, mum and dad's house and we're about to go on a journey. So I'd like you to come with me. So let's see what we can find. Do you like secrets? You're about to find out about a really great secret. So come on, let's go. Hi, so we're on our way to uh, share a secret, aren't we? But I just wanted to show you what's behind me here because you see, this is a man-made Mar Menor. So it's not the sea, but obviously it looks like the sea, doesn't it? And behind me is La Manga. Now that's a whole new world over there. That's where all the posh people go. But this is a beautiful seaside village. It's called Las Alcatraz, and as I said, we're in Spain. But it just got me to thinking, I wonder how many times you've got a sea of opportunity coming your way that you don't grab hold of. You see, the boats behind me over here, would you wait for your ship to come in? Or would you actually paddle or even swim out to it? That's the question you need to ask yourself today. What opportunities come your way every day? And how many of them are you gonna go out and get? I think that maybe today should be the time for you to decide to go for your opportunity. So here we are and we're about to divulge the secret. So I bet you're thinking, gosh, what with all these bins and everything around? This doesn't look very attractive. Now, you might not think that this is the normal kind of sightseeing that would go on when you came to a lovely place like Los Alcatraz. But here we are, we have an old building. And as you can see, we are literally near the sea. Locals are going about their business. It's a Saturday morning. But as we walk down here, I want you to think about where you are now where you are in your life and what it is that you get up for in the morning, the people that you want to spend your time with in an ideal world. Where do you want to spend your time? What do you want to do? Where do you want to go in life? Because you see, I believe that inside all of us we have a secret desire. We have a secret desire to be able to be free, to be able to choose a life of freedom, to be able to do what we want to do, when we want to do it, and with the people that we want to do it with. And I'm about to show you the reason why I believe this. So bear with and hold fire, get ready for my big secret. Hola. So here we are, and this is the secret that I want to share with you. This is what my mother calls a secret garden. And at the end of when I finish speaking, we'll have a look around here. You see, this secret garden is in the middle of what we looked at outside. So in the middle of all those bins and those drab looking buildings, is this beautiful haven. As you can see, the sun is shining, the birds are singing, and this place is full of life. Plants are living, people are drinking. Cheers. And it is great. The locals come here to bathe so that they can feel well. And the visitors, well, they come here just to have a beer like me and take in a little bit of tapas. But the secret isn't really about the garden. What I'd like to talk to you about is actually my parents. Because you see, they've lived here now for nearly 12 years. And what they did was they got on a plane with two suitcases when they were 60. My father had been ill for a little while and so they decided to retire early. Now, don't get me wrong, not because they were rich. In fact, my father was an illegitimate child to Joyce, beautiful grandmother. And my mother, her father had abandoned her when she was two. So you see, they both struggled through their childhood. My mother looked after my grandmother Ada, who actually was very poorly mental health issues. So they actually struggled from children and then they went through and worked all their lives. My father was in the army for a little while and then he was a labourer, driving lorries mainly. And my mother had always been doing secretary work. So, you know, they didn't have a huge amount of money, but they invested in their future and then they sold their house in New York and moved out here. But can you imagine the guts that they had to get on a plane with two suitcases. Would you do that now? I mean, they were in their 60s. But you see, what they did was, and the thing that they taught me, and this has been the number one secret that helps me get through my life, is the fact that if you want something, then move your feet and get towards what it is that you want. Don't just sit there thinking, oh, I wish this would happen. Oh, I wish that would happen. You have to pray and then move your feet. Because you see, if you don't move in the direction of your dreams, then just like this garden, they become a secret. They become buried in the centre of you and nobody ever knows about it. So here's the thing that you want to do today. 
write down a list of all the things that you want to do in your life. And let's be honest, let's not wait till we're 60. Or if you're over 60, let's not wait till you're 70 or 80. Let's do it today. Make that list today about the things that you want that will mean that you live the life that you want. I was talking to a neighbour yesterday and he's not very well. He's in his 80s. He's a great guy. Beautiful singer. He doesn't have any regrets. And you know what? I want to be like him. I want to have been able to do everything that I wanted to do in my life. So I'm going to take a leaf out of my parents' book. I'm very proud, happy and grateful to have been brought up by two fantastic people. So, as I say, let's have a look around the garden. This is a secret, but this is how beautiful your life could be if you just decided what you want and you go and bloody get it. That's my tip for the day. Speak to you soon. Have a look at the garden. It's beautiful.